Hello friends, welcome to Amos Subti Webcast. In our last video, we just see how to configure password policy in Windows 10. And in this video demonstration, I'm going to show you how to configure account lockout policy in Windows 10 or previous versions of Windows operating system. So first of all, let's understand why we are going to set up account lockout policy. Account lockout policy disabled a user account if an incorrect password is entered a specified numbers of time over a specified period. These policy settings help you to prevent other users from guessing users password and they decrease the possibility of successful attacks on your network. Let's see how we can set up account lockout policy on our computer. So first of all, you have to open admin schedule tools. Just go to the Cortona and type admin schedule tools. This will give us the console of admin schedule tools and from this console, double click on local security policy. You can also open this local security console by running a command secpol.msc. Once you open a local security policy, on the left hand side, under security settings, expand account policies and under account policies, you can see a policy name account lockout policies. There are some parameters that we have to configure like account lockout threshold. Double click on it and it will open another console. These security settings determines the numbers of failed logon attempts that cause a user's account to be locked out. A lockout account cannot be used until it is reset by an administrator or until the lockout duration for the account has expired. You can set a value between 0 to 999 failed login attempts. If you see an explanation, we can see we can set a value between 0 to 999 failed logon attempts. If this value is set to zero, the account will never be locked out. So this is the default settings and for this demonstration, I'm going to set this value to three. That means the user can enter the password only for three times. If he enters the incorrect password, his user account will be locked out for certain duration. You can set up these settings according to your own ways. But for this demonstration, I'm going to set to three. Click on apply and once you click on apply, this will also suggest a value changes for our two different policies like account lockout duration will be suggested settings will be 30 minutes and for reset account lockout counters after 30 minutes. Click on OK and click on OK. Now let's understand the account lockout duration. This security setting determines the number of minutes a lockout account remains locked out before automatically becoming unlocked. Available range is from 0 minutes through 99,999 minutes. You can see on the explanation page also there. This is the available range, the duration for account lockout. Click on local security settings and it is as you can see it is set to 30 minutes and for this demonstration we also want this account is locked out for 30 minutes. If you set the account lockout duration to zero, the account will be locked out until an administrator explicitly unlocks it. Click on OK and here is the we have a settings reset account lockout counter after. Let's understand the settings. These security settings determines the number of minutes that must be elapsed after a fair logon attempt before the fair logon attempt counter is reset to zero bad logon attempts. The available range is 1 minute to 99,999 minutes. If an account lockout threshold is defined, this reset time must be less than or equal to the account lockout duration. It means that when the 30 minutes complete, you can enter the password. If you set it less than 30 minutes, you can enter the password less than 30 minutes. As you can see, the by default value is set to 30 and we want to use the same. Click on OK and that's it. So we just set a policy that triggered after three invalid logons attempt and our account will lock out for 30 minutes. And this will be count the invalid logon attempts for 30 minutes. And after 30 minutes, the counter for invalid logons attempt will be reset automatically. Once you set up everything, now let's close this console. 
and let's manually update the group policy by running command gp update hit enter okay as you can see the computer policy and user policy update has completed successfully now let's test the account lockout policy let's sign out from our user and let's try to log in with our another user name user1 okay this is the first attempt now this is the second this is the third and for fourth time as you can see there is a message that indicate the reference account is currently locked out and may not be logged on click on ok and now if you try to log in with our user user1 and with correct password still we are not able to log on to our windows computer because the account is currently locked out and as per our policy after 30 minutes this user account will be unlocked automatically and thereafter this user is able to log on to our windows 10 computer let's click on ok let's log in with our user manher and let's specify his password hit enter once you log into windows 10 computer let's open the computer management on a computer management console click on local users and groups on users right click on our user name user1 select the property by removing this tick box we can manually unlock the our user user1 so let's remove the check box click on apply click on ok and now our user is able to log on to our windows 10 computer so this is the way how you can set up account lockout policy on windows 10 computer that's it for this video demonstration. Thanks for watching this video.